I took the mothership out for our New Year's RV outing. The AARVC, which stands for African American RVers and Campers, we met at Oak Hollow Campgrounds in High Point, North Carolina to celebrate New Year's Eve 2023. The journey from home was just a short skip and a hop for me. About a 45 to 50 minute drive to High Point. I departed home on Thursday. It was such a beautiful sunny day here in North Carolina, about 60 degrees. I wanted to leave early so I can enjoy the day's weather. My wife, Andrea, she came on Friday with my sister and her friend, Brian. Also, my cousin, Sean, and his wife, Yvette, with their respective RVs. As the GPS says, you have arrived. Well, I arrived. Only a handful of others were already there. Arnell, who is the founder of AARVC in Maryland, James, the host, who's originally from High Point, but now resides in Maryland, and a few others had already set up on Thursday. Arnell James and myself later went to Sutherland's, a local cigar lounge downtown High Point, and met up with some other friends and family of mine and watched the Cowboys and Eagles game. Friday morning, I had a chance to do a little fishing. I didn't catch anything, nor did I have a bite. Later, the family arrived, my sister, wife leading, Sean behind, along with others ready to fellowship and bring in the new year. Friday afternoon, the weather was perfect here in North Carolina. At 6 p.m., it was time for the meet and greet the fish fry. It was such a lo lovely view, Oak Hollow Lake and all its majesty. The fire pits were still going at the time, but then it was time for our meet and greet. There were around 22 RVers and one tent camper. We all gathered under the shelter for a delicious fish dinner. Campers all attended from far and wide, from Florida to Georgia, here in North Carolina, Virginia, and also the majority were from the Maryland area. After the Friday night fish fry and meet and greet, we retreated to the various fire pits for a little warmth, and then it was lights out for the night. It was now Saturday morning. We welcomed the drizzle and a little rain on and off throughout the day, but that didn't hamper our spirit for it was now New Year's Eve. At noon, that call, come and get it, sounded out. Brunch was now ready to be served. We had delicious cooked eggs. There was oatmeal, pancakes, sausage, all on the menu, along with orange juice, water, tea. Afterwards, 
The majority just hung out under the shelter for hours, well to 6 p.m. dinner. We were just playing games like the name it game. We played checkers, played cards and the like, sharing RV journey and experiences. During this time of socializing, you find out a lot about each other and what you have in common. You found there are military veterans, they are educators, grandchildren the same age. Even talking with Arnell, I found out with both of us, we are stroke survivors. You've learned so much from each other when you take the time to talk with one another. After a good nap, one in which many took advantage of, we then met back at the shelter for chili, chicken soup, fish to welcome in 2023. The fire pit was ablaze, warming up the atmosphere. Party hats were being placed on, noise makers in hand, and champagne toast served. Oh, I can't forget the stogies was available. Everyone was checking their watch, their cell phones, the timers, and the countdown was given. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year, 2023. It was on then. But wait, oh, it was quiet time. That was supposed to have had been at 10 p.m., but no, not on this night. It was time to bring in the new year. Arnell had tried to get everyone to meet a dance challenge that others had posted. I believe we were, well, most of us, a little too aged for it. But we did the best we can do. We'll work on that for next year. We all had a wonderful time bringing in the new year. After the pictures were taken at the backdrop, drawing and prizes were distributed out, and then soon after, the crowd fizzled out for the night. It was 2023. Swing low, time to move on, light years and time, ahead of our time. Well, it's now Sunday morning, January the 1st, the year 2023. I could not say try one more time. My mindset was, it's a new year, maybe I could get out of my fishing slump and catch some fish. But the answer was, nope. It was now departure time. The waves, the goodbyes, the seeing you next year was all shared. What a great time we had. I love being around people of the same mind and same spirit. Davis RV Life. Please hit the subscribe button. Follow us on our RV travels, experiencing people, places, and things.